It's an answering machine. Then leave a message. Saying what? Say it's you and ask him to ring back. But it's her voice. Oh, David! Hiya, um, it's me, David. I'm just ringing about arrangements for tomorrow. If you could just get me dad to give us a ring back. All right, and bye-bye. Sarah, will you pick up some of these toys, please? Oh, Beth, go and pick some toys up for Grandma's. Not concern. that we've anywhere to put them. We're short of space. Jo, I still think we should have some shelves made for that cupboard under the stairs. What do you think? He won't ring back. Of course he will. He's probably stood there all along, screening his calls, thinking, oh, no, not him again. Can't he just leave us in peace? Don't be ridiculous. Just go and get ready. Sarah, are you going to be lying there all day? Posted it. Haven't you got work? On a Saturday. You can't say you work the weekend one minute and back out the next. I've only been there five minutes. I've got to. Mum's coming round. When? Later this morning. She called from the bus station an hour ago. Oh, and everyone's just got a job, everything, have they? No, not everyone, just me. But I don't see why you should jeopardise your new job just because... Nobody's jeopardising anything. Penny's cool with it. Well, I'm not cool. That woman's got no consideration for the fact that other people have to work. She just swans in, breathing her fumes and making an idiot out of herself. Look, she sounded pretty together on the phone, actually. Give her a chance, Jamie. It's only ten o'clock. I know, and normally she'd be on a second bottle by now. She said she wanted to tell me something, something important. Why can't she tell you over the phone? I don't know, she just wants to see me. Look, there's no skin if your nose she comes around anyway. Jamie, you might not have noticed, but when your mother starts shooting her mouth off, there tends to be a lot of collateral damage. Arriving 12.45, meet me in the pub. Oh, typical. She ain't even got you when she's thinking about her next drink. Yeah, it's OK. Right, and bye. Told you he wasn't interested. What did he say? He says he didn't want to see him and he's too wrapped up with her. Now, what did he really say? Amounts to the same thing. No, it doesn't. I'm sure he's just got things to do. I'm sure he wants to make sure he's got some proper time to spend with you. Well, he could come here or we could meet him halfway at a service station, even if it's for half an hour, I don't care. Well, we'll just have to make sure you have an extra special nice weekend with us, won't we? Starting with a shopping trip this afternoon for that football strip you've been mithering me for. Mum, you said you were going to mind Beth this afternoon. Well, that was before I knew you were lying on your backside all day. Mum? You can come shopping with me and David. OK, thank you. Don't look too pleased. Only going to be out of the house for a couple of hours. How long are you going to be gone exactly? Well, not too late because um, I'm going for a drink with Phil tonight. Is that OK then, if I go for a drink with Phil? Fine by me. David, how with you? Well, I'd rather have a skateboard than a footy kit, but the one I want, it's, it's really expensive. Well, we'll have to see you when we get down there, won't we? Come on. You know what you said about those shelves in the cupboard? Oh, so you were listening? Then? Oh, I was listening. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good idea. I don't like the mess. Right, well, um, I'll get Charlie Stubbs to come round and give us a quote. No, it's okay, I'll do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Why not? Might as well make myself useful. Uh, I only eat toast if it's got peanut butter. Smooth has to be smooth. Don't like bits. <laughs> Well, you had toast and jam yesterday. I saw you. Pancakes. Can you make pancakes? I don't have time to make pancakes. I'm sorry. Sonita made me some yesterday. Really thin ones. Oh, they were well wicked. Yeah? Well, it's my turn to make breakfast today. And I don't have the time. Come here. Come here. I know what this is. What are you talking about? Well, all these divide and rule tactics, pitting Sunita against me. Guess what? It's not going to work. You have got a right gob on you today. What are you on? It's a toast or start. You decide. <clears throat> What's this doing in my wardrobe? Matt, you said you lost it down the sofa. Oh, well, too much taking is bad for you. Doesn't seem to do you any. It's not she's going to get all her sticky fingers all over it. No, she won't. Have you seen the high fi You can't be this precious when the twins arrive, you know. You'll have to share. No, they are going to have to obey the rules of my house. The high fi is strictly Fred house. The TV remote remains the property of a grown up at all times. And you, miss, you will eat what you are given. Is my grand coming to look after me today? Cos this guy is mental. Three o'clock, I'm picking him up from the airport. Oh, I can't wait. Neither can I. 
don't know who's the bigger kid. Hi, Jason. What do you want? Well, that's not very friendly. I came to see you. This has got to stop. What has? This. What? You turn up wherever I go, accidentally bumping into me. I don't know what you're talking about. Sending me texts, following me. I mean, I can't have my chips in peace. Oh, you seem flustered, Jason. Is that the effect I have on you? A violet could walk in here any minute now. Oh, so I'm here on business. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean it. We need some shelves putting up. Don't muck me about. <sighs> I was thinking maybe you could come round and give me a quote. You're having a laugh, right? Listen, it's an easy enough job, Jason, but if you don't want the work, I can easily ring another builder. Hey, Sarah, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came to ask Jason about some work we need doing. Uh, there should be somebody in about dinner time, between one and three, ideally, if you change your mind. Um, I've got the night off tonight, so what do you fancy doing? Whatever, I don't mind. Oh, well, don't get too excited, Jason. It's only me and your girlfriend. Blind me, I might as well tell him I'll work. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm really pleased. Let's do something really special me and you tonight, eh? Great. <clears throat> May I? Is everything all right? That was incredible. Superb. Absolutely, without doubt, the best English breakfast I have ever, ever eaten. Uh, thank you very much. The baked beans, for instance. Uh, rich flavour, perfectly al dente. One spoonful and you can see how the West was won. Well, they're, they're fresh girls' value, actually. Uh, not, not, not because they are the cheapest, but also, in my opinion, they are the best. Mm. Fresco's value. Well, I congratulate you on uncovering a masterpiece, though some of the credit must go to you for handling them so well. Well, I, I just warm them through. Warm, yes. Not boil or, God forbid, microwave till they've completely lost their shape and are reduced to a thick gloop. No, 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 no. If they are stood on that hot plate for more than an hour, I, I open a fresh tip. Was the same with the eggs. Fresh, bright yolks. And uh, the fried bread, there was... Um, there was something about it. It had a depth of flavour I've never come across before. Uh, well, the, the bread <clears throat> has to be stale, of course. Mm. And if possible, I like to fry it in rendered down bacon fat. Of course, of course. I, I was going to say goose fat, but... Um, I, I hope you don't mind me making notes. I'm purely interested in an exchange of ideas. I'd never plagiarise one of your creations. Well, I've never heard my fried bread referred to as a creation before. Oh, it belongs in the pantheon of great breakfast dishes. You should be very proud. It's funny, isn't it? It ought to be the easiest thing in the world, certainly the easiest thing in England, to find a good English breakfast. But I have combed Lancashire only to be greeted by poor ingredients indifferently thrown together. But not today. Today, I have finally found what I've been looking for. I'm Paul Riley, by the way. Chef proprietaire of Quelle Surprise in Chilton Cum Hardy. Uh, Roy Shropper. Uh, uh, chef proprietaire of Roy's Rolls in Weatherfield. <laughs> <sighs> what now? I meant what I said, you know, about the shelves. We're desperate. In fact, if we don't get someone to do it soon, I think the house might fall down. You are mad, you know that? Besides, I'm all on my own. No mum, no Beth, no David. Big household to myself. I'm lonely. All right, I'll see if I can get round there. I'd love it if you did. Bottle of lager, please, Shelley. Right you are. I haven't missed a round, have I? Mum? Well, don't just sit there. Give us a cuddle. What's all this? You look terrific. <laughs> I feel terrific, too. I'm on the wagon, Jamie. I haven't had a drop in nine days. That's fantastic, but why did you want to meet in a pub? So that you and anyone else who happens to be around can watch me do this. Orange juice, please, love. Cheers. I feel like I should be having an orange juice too. Well, not on my account, you won't. Don't bother you. Well, no, just because I've stopped drinking doesn't mean I want to spoil other people's enjoyment. I think I'll give it a go. 
give it a miss anyway. I'm so proud of you, Mum. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Well, you needed help. And you are getting help, aren't you? I mean, you're not trying to do this on your own. Well, the Valium certainly helps. Well, that's it. When you get any counselling or going to meetings or anything. I'm not sitting round in a circle talking to complete strangers. Besides, all you really need is willpower. So what finally made you decide to stop? I woke up in the gutter with three cracked ribs. For God's sake, Mum. Anything could have happened to you. Yeah. And whilst I was lying there, semi-conscious, I started wishing something had. I wished I'd fallen under a bus or been stabbed or something. Please don't say that. I can't bear it. Jamie... I'd love to say to you that that's when I saw the light. That thinking of you pulled me through. But it didn't. And if I'm honest, then I've got to be honest with myself and with you. All I could really think about was finding another drink. I could just about make out a pub a few yards away and I, I lay there wondering if it was open. We only have uh, white bread, I'm afraid. Dough should never be made with anything else. Mmm. It's delicious. Look, I hope you're, you're not offended, but I, I don't think I have heard of your... What, 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 what is it your restaurant's called again? Quelle surprise. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not much of a gourmet, I'm afraid. No, I think you are, Mr Cropper. No, what, what, what I'm saying is, my wife and I, we, we don't eat in fancy restaurants. Well, nor should you. They're overpriced and the food is rubbish. Well, yeah, but you won't be including your own establishment when you say that. Oh, especially my own establishment. I've um, gained something of, of a reputation as an enfant terrible in the northwest, and my uh, financial backers insist I uh, give the Chardonnay swilling snobs of Cheshire something wacky to boast about. Hence my uh, quail stuffed with popcorn, my peace pudding sushi, my vindaloo ice cream. I, I don't have a very sophisticated uh, palate. Be adventurous, my mentor always told me. But once you start, where do you stop? Well, we, we tend to keep things very simple here. And long may you continue to do so. You know, this place, it's a haven for someone like me. Good, honest food in the convivial surroundings. Yes, well, uh, well, thank you very much. Yeah. Hang on, of course I... I've heard of your restaurant. It's in the paper the other day. You, you've just won an, you've won an award. The coveted Fabel Star, yes. Well, no doubt the American tourists will come hoarding in. Which reminds me, I really ought to be going. I've some uh, truffles to grate. Um, how much do I owe you? No, 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 no. It's on the house. I wouldn't dream of it. No, no. It, it has been a pleasure to serve you, Mr. Riley. Thank please, you very much. please call again. If you believe that, you're a bigger mug than I thought you were. I, I, I don't know what you mean. I've never heard such baloney. He wanted a free breakfast. Oh yeah, and you'll give him it, yeah. I had no idea what was going on. Why didn't you tell me? You had enough on your plate. So that's it. You're lying in the gutter. What happened then? It was quite funny, actually. Yeah. And I got up, staggered towards the pub, and then... then I actually did fall under a bus. You what? <laughs> well, not a very big bus, and it wasn't going very fast, but the driver insisted on taking me to hospital. Oh, were you hurt? Well, enough for them to keep me in for a couple of days. It's the longest I've been without a drink in five years. What a wake-up call that was. And that's it? You haven't had a drink since? I haven't had a drink since. And I won't again. I'm a changed woman. I can't believe I wasn't there for any of this. You might not have been able to get me to stop. But it was the thought of you seeing me sober like this. That's what kept me going. This. Now. It makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, but you've got to do this for yourself, not for me. I know. And I want to make you proud of me. I'm already proud of you. I want to be a real mum to you. I think you're a great mum. Sweetheart, I'm a liability. Or I was. But not anymore. I've even started applying for jobs and everything.
Wow. I wasn't sure you'd come. I wasn't sure there was a real job. Under the stairs. I'll show you if you like. We... We wanted, um, a toy cupboard with... Like, shelves and stuff. Shelves? Shelves. Is it, um, MDF or pine you want? Whatever's cheaper. MDF, usually. MDF, then. Well, I'd best do some, uh, measuring up, then. Good. Do you want a coffee? Yeah, please. Black or white? White we want. Um. All right, Frank. Brought Carol back for a coffee. Don't mind, dear. Help like yourself. Hello, Frankie. Blimey, you've been on the train in Susanna. Mum's giving up drinking. What? Totally sober. Haven't touched a drop in weeks. Really? Yeah. Looks like I'm not the only one round here who could do with drying out. <laughs> a couple of glasses of wine hardly makes me an alky. It's the middle of the day, Frank. You're on your own. When did this all start? When did all what start? You drinking during the day. Oh, since today, it's been day off. You had the best part of a bottle last night, and oh, I know, cos I saw you. So what? All right, darling, there's no need to have a go at her. She needs your support, not a lecture. I know you've had your share of heartache recently, but trust me, you won't find the answer to your problems at the bottom of a bottle. I know that better than anyone. I don't believe this is happening. Please tell me this isn't happening. It's OK. Yeah, we're fine. Don't worry. Speak to you later. That was Dev at the airport. Your nan's flight's delayed. She won't be here for a couple of hours. Cool. Um, I'll stick around until they get here. Do you mind if I make myself a coffee? No. Do you want anything? No, you're all right. Thank you very much. Oh, you had particular fulsome praise from a baked beans. I'm a fried bread. Oh, maybe Vera was right then. Maybe it was a scam, eh? No, 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 no. I rang up his restaurant just to be on the safe side. Hmm, it'd be a very elaborate scam then, wouldn't it, if he was lying? All for a cooked breakfast. Oh, the finest cooked breakfast in Manchester. Nay, Lancashire. <laughs> Don't get begetted. No, he answered the phone himself. Yes, we had a very pleasant chat. Uh, as one chef proprietaire to another. <laughs> It has gone to your head, hasn't it? He said he, he hoped to drop in again soon. Well, did he offer us a free meal at his place to repay the compliment? Uh, no, he didn't. Oh, pity. I'd love to go to a fancy French restaurant. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be partial to Vindaloo ice cream. Is that what's on the menu? That's his signature dish. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. You like the cafe, then. He probably hasn't had a decent meal in months. Well, that's what he said. Simple, honest food, that's what he called it. Very difficult to find, he reckon. Roy's rolls, as recommended by top chefs. Well, one award-winning chef who may never come back. If a top designer walked into Underworld and singled out my underwear for special praise, I'd be chuffed as mimble. I know, no, and, and, and I am. Yes, I mean, I, I know it's immodest, but I can't help it. I am absolutely thrilled. Have you ever split up with someone and got back with them again? Yeah. Ashley Watkins. We were like Posh and Bex, only we were 11. No, I mean like a proper relationship. Only it's never the same when you get back together as it was before you split up, is it? Well, if the relationship's that wonderful, I suppose you wouldn't have split up in the first place. So you should never give anyone a second chance? I'm not very good at relationships. I don't know if you'd noticed. I really want things to work with Jason, but... I don't know, something about it just doesn't feel right. What do you mean? I can't put my finger on it. It's probably just in my head, but 
He seems distant. Maybe it's my fault. Been smothering him trying too hard. Now, he, he worships you. Anyone can see that. Like everyone could see that Ashley Watkins really fancied Susan Oldsworth. Ta. So, what do you think? Yeah, it can be done. Good. Although I'm not too sure when. Oh. I mean, your walls are good. But your electrics are shot. You're gonna need new light fitting. Do you want my honest opinion? Please. Go to B and Q or IKEA, any DIY store. Yeah. Yeah, they sell the fittings there, especially made to fit spaces like this. I mean, you could do it yourself. Cheaper than us doing it for you. A lot cheaper. <laughs> I've got to go. What? Charlie be wondering where I am. Jason! Oh, uh, I'll drop some uh, figures through the door. I'll see you later. Great, thanks. <laughs>